Just um, regarding the law of attraction, when um, uh, wanting to get the difference between when I see something or when a parent sees something reflected from a child, that's the law of attraction of the parent reflecting what's in the parent. Yep. Now, what in the situation when my law of attraction brings me something from an adult yep. or from a circumstance? Um, just an example in my own life, um, when I was um, like in my late teens, early 20s, I would go out surfing. Yep. My mother had, would often voice to me this fear that she had about sharks and all sorts of things. Yep. And so I'm just trying to get clear, that's my law of attraction, my mother is saying that to me. How does that relate to the child saying something to the adult in the reverse situation? Um, it's always both people's law of attraction, obviously, but the fact that your mother is saying it to you, it is her fear that she's saying it to you. If you didn't feel fear about going surfing, but she was projecting fear on you, then it's obviously just her law of attraction. Does it, do you follow me? If you don't feel the feelings she's actually reflecting to you, then it's her feelings, not yours. And this is how like, I know in my own interactions whether it's somebody else's feelings or my own too. Because because you'll get to a point in your own progression where you've dealt with a lot of your emotions and somebody will still come to you with something and you and you will not feel anything from it and, and so you know that it is their law of attraction. Okay, so so there's if I'm not feeling anything that uh, then it may have if I let's see. The so, feeling you may have had with your mother then which yeah. would have been your law of attraction is yeah. I have to do what my mother thinks even though she's crazy and she thinks that I'm going to get eaten by a shark. That would have been the feeling you would have had. So it would be to look at my feeling of annoyance or whatever about Exactly. And obviously, um, when I said just earlier that it's not anybody's, you know, it's, it's, it's never half of a person's or one person's law of attraction. Every single thing that happens is due to the combined law of attraction of every single person involved. But what we often do is we say, oh, well, if my mum was angry, that means that I was angry. No. If your mum was afraid, does that mean I was afraid? No. Because you've got to feel what your emotions were in that transaction. So if your mum projects fear at you, and you got angry, then there is some emotion inside of you that you're denying at that point as well. Does that make sense? That this law of attraction that your mum telling you is going to help sort out if you, if you let it. So in every single interaction, our law of attraction is that both of our law of attractions operating in harmony with each other to trigger something in each one, or even to trigger some truth, or even acknowledgement of truth in each one. It doesn't necessarily have to trigger an emotion. So there might have been a truth you needed to face in the issue, and that is you don't need to do what your mum wants. You know? And that's an emotion that you're still really dealing with in a lot of ways in, in your own life. You're working your way through that issue having to do what the woman wants. Yeah, well, there's, there's been a number of things related to that where I felt like um, I had to do whatever my parents said. In yeah. Place. yeah, and so, and so if mum projects fear at you and she's afraid, you automatically felt that you'd have to stop surfing and you didn't want to stop surfing, so you get angry. So it allows yourself to feel what's underneath that. There's a feeling of, I have to do what mum says. So look at that emotion underneath that. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. But, but her projecting fear doesn't mean you're afraid. So her saying to you, oh, I'm afraid of you getting eaten by a shark, doesn't mean that you feel afraid of getting eaten by a shark. But it will mean that there is something inside of you that turns out can trigger that you do need to release. Especially if I'm feeling something as a result of that. Especially if you're feeling something. So if you feel a twinge of frustration, anger, annoyance, any of those emotions, straight away you know, I didn't feel something in that transaction. I was just going to say, if you were five and you were saying to your mum, I'm afraid of sharks, then that would be her emotion. But yeah. as you, you're older, yeah. the lower attraction changes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.